Welcome to the Empty House Tour! Hello. So, I bought another house and Dylan and I are very excited to move in here. We have some work that we want to do before we move in, but I thought it would be cool to film an empty house tour um, to show you guys. It's very echoey and yeah, Dylan's obviously going to be living here with me, but I bought the house, so I'm going to take you through the tour. Sound good? I was talking to you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this is the front porch. Uh, not much to see here. So let's come inside. So this is the main room of the house. It's an open concept house. So this is the living area. And then it also leads into the dining room and the kitchen. But the living area here, it's pretty wide. As you can see, it has really tall cathedral ceilings. A fireplace right here. And then here, we've got a little nook area with a ton of windows. The previous owners had a piano in here, but I feel like It'd be really cool to like line plants around here and have a little like reading nook and then you can see part of our view outside so then this leads into the dining room like i said uh which leads also onto the deck i'm not going to take you out there but it's just a deck you know and then from here we go into the kitchen i'm going to do a lot of renovations here um but the kitchen's probably going to come a little later because there's other things i actually want to do first but it's still a really nice kitchen. They have a lot of custom woodwork in this house, as you can see with the cabinets and everything. And another awesome thing about this house is that it came with all the appliances, which isn't normal, but I'm very grateful that it does. <laughs> in our last house, we have a lot more pantry storage in this house. There's actually a closet around the corner, but there is this little nook in the dining room. So I'm probably gonna put some built-in storage here. Um, so we have more pantry space, but this is the pantry if you walk through here. I, I think it's a pretty standard kitchen pantry, but because I cook for a living and have a bunch of stuff, um, there's not a ton, ton of space. They left us some napkins and utensils, and Dylan already packed his chips. So this is the pantry door, and this is the basement door. I'm going to finish this floor first. So if you walk through here and down this hallway, first we have a little half back here. I like how it has the windows, so it gets some good natural light. And then moving on into the laundry room. This laundry room is like an upgrade from ours because we just have a washer and dryer now. So it's nice that we have a sink and we could put a board or something on top of these. So we'll have a nice place to put fold clothes. And then the other cool thing about this house, I don't think it's very normal anymore, but it actually has a laundry chute. So you can see this tube where it connects to the ceiling. Um, just open this cabinet and it's like an empty hole. I'm not sure how often we'll use that, but Maybe we'll keep it, maybe we'll get rid of it. So then if you walk through here, this leads into the mud room. So you've got a closet. And then this leads all out to the garage. This is a three car garage and the ceilings are actually really high for garage, I feel like. And it comes with some storage. They gave us some racks and stuff. Um, and a ever, fridge. Yeah, we got a bonus fridge, which is good. So fridge and freezer. And then this door goes out to the back of the house as well. So that's, oh, there's one more floor down here. I didn't show the office. One more room? One more room down here, yeah. I might even use this as a filming space so we keep less like equipment clutter out of the kitchen because it has these great windows. So you can see some of the property outside. And then there's still a little space over here for me to put my desk. And then we just got a little storage closet. Dylan said this would also be a yoga room and I agree with him, but I also need a space to work. So yoga room would probably be somewhere different. So then now from here, we can go upstairs. The stairs are by the front door. We got a cool little balcony up here. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna put in this balcony. Honestly, I think it's kind of random, but maybe I can put like a plant or something. And then there's a closet right here. It's just like a linen closet. And then this comes into the master bedroom. This is actually a little smaller than our current master bedroom, I think, but we definitely have more space overall in this house. So there's still plenty of space for a bed. And the cool thing about this is it actually opens up to another private balcony. And the view from this balcony is really nice. So you can see there's like mountains on the horizon. It's gonna be really peaceful. I'm gonna put like a swinging chair out here and it's gonna be awesome. This house has like a few built-ins and like random 
nooks. But I actually think I'm gonna put a vanity here. I already got a vintage vanity that I'm excited to like redo. And then it has this like slanted wall. There's another room of the house that has a slanted wall, which I don't really get, but we're gonna make it work. So then coming into here, we have our bathroom. We already unpacked some stuff. Dylan put his contacts in, I didn't make that. Um, so we have his and her vanities. And then this is still the same side of the house as the balcony. So we got a really nice tub with a view. Over here, we have a walk-in closet. Here we have a bathroom. I like the overall concept of this bathroom, but I feel like it's pretty dark. So eventually I want to redo it, but it's not going to happen right now. Um, so we have our toilet here. I feel like it'd be better if we just got rid of this wall because Dylan and I poop in front of each other all the time. So it's not really a big deal. And then here we have a really nice shower. So it has a little walk-in area with a nice window view. And then here there's a waterfall faucet and a standard shower faucet. I don't know if they can see, but it's really nice. It's pretty spacious. Um, there's definitely a lot of custom stuff in this house. Well, the other thing I like is all these windows are south facing windows. So they get a ton of sunlight through the day because the south side of your house always gets the most light, which is something that's really important to me. I specifically, when we were looking for houses, I actually was looking specifically for um, houses that had more south facing windows because I know they get a lot more light in this area. Um, of the Pacific Northwest in general is pretty cloudy in the winter and we don't get a ton of sunlight. So yeah, moving on. So we go down this hallway, we got a little inlet here. And then in here is the other full bathroom. This is other like slant that I don't really understand, but it's, it's fine. <laughs> and then we got shower, tub. This is actually like nice for a half bath. There we have towel, tiles on the walls. And then coming in here, this is probably my favorite view from the upstairs bedrooms, I think. So the bedrooms themselves, I feel like are a pretty decent size, but the thing that I really like about them is they all actually have walk-in closets. So here's this one, let me find the light switch. Like, that's pretty big for, this is like the size of our master closet almost. So this would be great, like there's already built-in shelves for like a dresser and storage, which means you don't really have to buy that furniture or you can just like focus on having a bed and a desk in the room. So then there's one more room. Oh, this is actually the laundry chute. So you throw your clothes down there and that's where it connects. So then we have a little random inlet in here. Maybe I'll install floating gels or something. Then this is the other final room. This door goes to the attic. There's another walk-in closet over here. It's a little smaller, but there's still like plenty of storage space. I think this room is a little smaller. And then we still got a view. This is the east, east facing side of the house. So that's all of the upstairs and now we'll go down and check out the downstairs. Let's go. This house actually has a finished basement which is really strange here. It's very, not very common at all. But it's great because we get a lot of extra storage space. So when you come down here, they have more built-ins and they have this sink next to the TV. I feel like it's kind of random, so I would definitely renovate this in the future. I also think this has really good potential to be like a multi-generational family home. You could build like a little mini kitchenette here and someone could live in the basement, you can rent it out. But then this is a nice open area, I'll probably put our couch here. Um, we'll keep the TV down here, I don't want to have a TV upstairs. So maybe I'll watch less TV. And then in here there's a smaller room that you might make into our workout room for now. It's pretty small, it's like a small window. Not much to see here, there's no closet or anything. So then, when we go down this hallway, like, see all the doors down here are custom, like wood doors, which I think is really cool. I like the wood personally, because I think it's like nice and cozy. One of the reasons why I got this house was, it was a really nice cozy feel and I like all the wood trim. So we have another half or full bath down here. That again is like really nicely finished. I like this tile a little more, it's more of a gray tile and has a really nice walk-in tile shower. It's kind of dark in here. And there's a privacy window right here because I don't know if you can see it. The house also came with a hot tub. So that's cool. So moving on, there's one more finished room. This is just a little storage closet. Hey Potter. You could definitely, I told Dylan we could turn this into like a kid's playroom or an office. Yeah, go stand in there and tell him that. Go stand in there. You totally could, like a small mini office. It'd be really cute. 
I said if we took the door off, it'd be really cute. Or you could put, like, a kid's little, like, play kitchen. It could be their, like, mini little playroom when they don't want to deal with this. I think it'd be cute. And then here is what's probably going to be our guest bedroom. Um, so we have some nice separation between us and the guests. So it's pretty open. It's got, like, this little indentation area. And as you can see, there's, like, uh, a shelf, kind of. And then they have... This one isn't a walk-in closet. It's just kind of like a standard closet. So I think that's it. This final door right here is just like hot water heater. There's like a crawl space. Tanks. And uh, there's like a really freaky uh, flashy light bulb. So that is it for the house tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I have already been planning on how I want to renovate some areas. Um, I just didn't want to include that in this video because I feel like this video is already going to be pretty long. So I'll be talking about that soon. A few other questions I feel like you guys are going to ask about the house. The house is eight years old. Um, there are two previous owners. The owners who built this house, it was a custom build, lived here for six years. And then the prior owners lived here for two years. So now it's our turn to live here and dylan and i definitely um wanted to live in this house because it is more of a family house and that's our long-term goal um yeah i'm also not pregnant right now i'm not planning on having kids anytime soon but i feel like there might be something you would assume um, with this house and then last but not least the property is actually really big as well it's on about 10 acres not all of it is usable but dylan and i definitely want to up our gardening game eventually build a greenhouse and grow a lot of our own food so that's something that we're very excited to explore and learn about with you guys as well so i hope you enjoyed this tour and there'll be more to come soon i just ate a peach so i don't know if there's like stuff on my teeth so if there was i'm not refilming this so yeah. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.